This video shows how simple it is to use WMS to upgrade an HMS model of a watershed near Park City, Utah to a geisha model. After you have built a geisha model, you can view the geisha output using the rich suite of watershed visualization tools available in the WMS interface. First, let's open the WMS project file containing the HMS watershed model. We'll then zoom in to view the watershed and bring up the hydrologic modeling wizard. Select Geisha as the model and select Initialize Model Data to begin building a Geisha model. Geisha is a model that includes a 2D overland flow hydrologic model that interacts with a 1D hydraulic model. Before building the 2D grid that discretizes your hydrologic model, it's a good idea to define the attributes for the streams in your watershed and initialize the stream elevations so the 2D grid elevations correspond to your stream elevations using your 1D hydraulic model. It's also important to define stream channel attributes such as Manning's roughness and cross-section information so Geisha can run the necessary stream hydraulic computations. Here we'll define the stream cross-section set the spacing between stream nodes, and initialize the stream elevations so no adverse slopes exist along the stream. Next, we'll create the 2D grid that discretizes the hydrologic model domain using a 90 meter cell size. We'll set the start and end time for the simulation and set the simulation time step. It's important to define land cover and soil type for each cell of your watershed so the correct Manning's roughness values and infiltration parameters can be defined for each cell. WMS has tools for assigning readily available land use and soil type information to each cell using the Geisha Maps tool. After assigning land use IDs and soil textures to each cell, Manning's roughness values can be assigned to each of the land cover IDs and infiltration parameters can be assigned to the soil textures so Geisha can compute the amount of rainfall that infiltrates into the soil and the runoff velocities between each of the 2D grid cells. After defining the Manning's roughness and hydrologic loss parameters, we'll turn on channel routing in the model and turn on some additional output parameters to enhance model visualization after running Geisha. One last step in setting up the model is to define a storm event. This model will use a standard Type 2 24-hour precipitation distribution with a precipitation depth of 3.13 inches or 79.5 millimeters. We determined this precipitation value from NOAA Atlas 14. The Clean Up Model button runs some common tasks that are often performed to clean up your display, smooth grid elevations, and check your model before running it. The model is cleaned up and no errors are detected in the Geisha model. After completing the hydrologic model, you can save and run your Geisha model. Once you have run your Geisha model, WMS has a rich set of tools that allow you to visualize overland flow depths, infiltration rates, stream flows, and stream depths. To contour any of these computed maps at any time during your simulation, select the output map that you want to visualize, such as the depth map, 
and scroll through the times in the properties window to view the contours of overland flow depth, infiltration, stream flow, or stream depth at each time step. There are various display options that can be set to enhance the display of these dataset contours as you scroll through the time steps. You can also view cylindrical contours representing stream depth and view the storm flood wave along your stream. Once you have read a Geisha solution, you can export an animation to a Google Earth KMZ file and view an animation of your Geisha output in Google Earth. Viewing your output in Google Earth allows you to combine Google Earth's visualization capabilities with the output from Geisha to more effectively view the watershed response to the storm event.